Today, 14 seniors bound for the armed forces were honored at Buchanan High School. The ceremony was the first of its kind at a school that is known for its long list of brave soldiers. That list includes the Hubbard brothers. Back in 2004, Jared Hubbard was killed in Iraq, and then less than three years later, his brother Nathan also killed in Iraq. CBS 47's Alexa Bartola joins us live in the studio. Alexa, this is a very important day. That's right. Buchanan High School lost a total of eight former students in the line of duty from 2004 to 2010. Today was not only about them and their sacrifice, but honoring those who are willing to be just as brave and courageous. 14 seniors headed for the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marines are being applauded. For their decision to enlist. Mark Haratunian says witnessing the Boston Marathon bombing is his inspiration. But I watched the carnage that created and I watched the chaos that followed. At 12 years old, Haratunian watched off duty soldiers that were running the race charge directly toward where the bomb had just gone off without any regard for their own safety. And that's, that's what helped me overcome the depravity of that moment. It just, it gave me a goal to set my eyes on them. I wanted to be like them. Literally from that day on, he has been, we call it radar lock, to try to do whatever he could to prepare himself to be in a position to help defend our country. Haro Tunian will be attending the United States Military Academy at West Point. The posting of the colors, the national anthem, and even a Black Hawk flyover by a Buchanan High School grad Branded out the first ever military signing day for Buchanan High School. We want to do something to make them feel like they're special and what they're doing is meaningful to us. I think it's the right way to honor people that are giving up what would be the normal college experience to put their lives in line and serve our country. Students will graduate on June 4th. All the flowers from the graduation will be put on the graves of the eight fallen soldiers like they are every year. Live in studio, Alexa Bertola, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.